Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm here with the A to Z book tag. This was originally created by the Perpetual Page Turner, who has a blog, not a booktube channel. I will link her original post down below. And let's get into this because there are 26 questions and I don't want this to be a long video. Question 1. Author that you've read the most books from. And I have to go with Tamora Pierce. I've read all of her books. I don't know exactly how many, but she's written a lot. Like, more than 30, so definitely her. Best sequel ever. That is Long May She Reign by Ellen Emerson White. This is the fourth book in the President's Daughter series, and it is amazing. It is one of my favorite books of all time, and definitely the best sequel. Currently reading. I am currently reading Dubliners by James Joyce, and really enjoying it. Drink of choice while reading. For me, that's water. Um, I'm very boring. I don't really drink anything other than water, so it's just water by default. E-reader or physical book? Definitely, definitely physical books. A fictional character you probably would have actually dated in high school. Literally none, because I didn't date in high school, so I really couldn't think of a single one. Glad you gave this book a chance. The Unseen World by Liz Moore. I almost didn't pick it up because it didn't sound like my kind of thing. There was a lot of talk about computer programming in the description of it, and they worked at a university in a lab, and I was like, ooh, that sounds a little bit too sciencey for my taste, but I read it and I loved it and it was amazing. Hidden Gem book. I'm gonna go with one of those hideous books where the mother dies by Sonia Sones. This is a YA contemporary that's written in verse about a young girl who goes to live with her movie star father after her mother dies and it is wonderful. It's so touching and sad but also kind of really funny. Important moment in your reading life. I'm gonna go with starting my reading journal because I started that in 2010 when I was in high school and I've actually kept up with it since then and that's probably the most consistent I've ever been with anything in my entire life just finished. The last book I read was The Radium Girls by Kate Moore, and it was absolutely wonderful. Kinds of books you won't read. There really isn't much on this list. The only ones I could think of were anything that's heavily religious or erotica, just because I don't have much interest in either of those. Longest book you've ever read? That is Harry Potter at the Order of the Phoenix at 870 pages. Or at least this is the longest book I've read since I started Goodreads because that was where I looked this up. Major book hangover because of Missoula by John Krakauer because that book was so wonderfully done but also so hard to read that after I finished it I really just needed to stop for a few days and reflect on what I just read. It was wonderful but difficult. Number of bookcases you own. Six. I have four of the Ikea Billy bookcases that you can see behind me. I have a small brown shelf on that wall, and then I have an even smaller tiny bookcase across from me. One book you've read multiple times. A Mango Shaped Space by Wendy Mass. This book always makes me cry, so I pick it up whenever I want a good cry. Preferred place to read. For me, that's my bed. Potentially also the sofa or a big easy chair, but just in general, I like to read in bed. It's very comfy quote that inspires you slash gives you all the feels from a book. And for that, I'm going with a quote from Syzygy Beauty by T. Fleischman. We are only supposed to be pretty in a very particular way. And if we are pretty in a different way, the public will be made uncomfortable. After many years of watching them, people are able to identify wild birds by their silhouettes. I just think that's a really beautiful quote from a very beautiful book. Reading Regret. I think the only thing I regret not reading is probably Percy Jackson. I wish I'd read that as a kid because I think as a kid I would have really loved it and appreciated it, but as an adult I just know it's not going to be worth my time for that whole series. The series you started and need to finish. I have two. The first is Jurassic Park. I read the first one and have not yet read The Lost World. And the second is Beartown. I read Beartown but have not yet read Us Against You even though I own both of these so need to get them done by the end of the year. Three of your all-time favorite books. I'm going with Alana by Tamara Pierce, a really lovely middle grade slash YA fantasy series that has so much nostalgia for me. Long May She Reign by Ellen Emerson White because this is an absolutely amazing book and I will forever talk about this until everyone I know reads this series because it's so worth your time. And the third is The Unseen World by Liz Moore which I mentioned earlier and it is also an amazing book and just one of those books that hit me so hard emotionally and was just beautifully crafted. Unapologetic fangirl for Ellen Emerson White. I don't think this surprises anyone. I talk about her all the time because she's amazing and no one ever reads her books so apparently it is my duty to convince everyone else in the world to read her books. Very excited for this release more than all the others. 
The only new release that I'm actually excited for is The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. That's a sequel to The Handmaid's Tale. I'm actually kind of nervous about this book. I don't know how well it's going to be done, but uh, hopefully it's good. Worst bookish habit. Not being able to remove books from my TBR. Once it goes on my TBR, it stays on my TBR. I don't know that I've ever removed anything from my TBR. X marks the spot. Start at the top left of your shelf and pick the 27th book. And that is Smell a Sense of Snow by Peter Hogue. I have not read this book, but it was referenced in My Sister's Keeper, which is why I picked it up. And now I need to read it at some point. Your latest bookish purchase. That is Under the Banner of Heaven by John Krakauer. I actually read this the other month, but I read a library copy, and I saw this in the thrift store the other day and couldn't help but pick it up because I really enjoy John Krakauer, and even though I'm not sure I will reread this book, I do want to collect all of his books. Z Snatcher Book, the last book that kept you up way late, and that is The Gilded Razor by Sam Lansky. <laughs> the most on-brand thing is probably me staying up all night to read a book that I didn't even like. This was a super fun tag, so I'm going to tag Inside Robin's World, Linda's World of Books, and I Read Past My Bedtime. So I will link all their channels down below. Definitely go check them out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all again soon.